Hi, it's Marion Owen in Kodiak, Alaska, and I am in Fort Abercrombie State Historical Park. I decided to come here after picking up a few things at the store because a little thought entered my mind, sort of a, eh, go for a walk in the woods. So here we are. We're going to go from the woods to the ocean, and I'm glad you're here with me. And together, maybe it'll be a little relaxing. I don't expect to meet many people on the trail. It's around dinner time. There was a bear sighted here a couple days ago, brown bear. So I hope we don't meet up with him or her. You might hear a little bit of swishing from, um, oh, my, my um, insulated pants, but here we go. So thanks for joining me. We'll just see what we can see. I didn't have the best of days today. It's kind of hard to explain, but no matter. So I decided to go for a walk in the woods. Yep, snowing a little bit. Snowflakes falling through the trees are pretty special. Take on a more refined purpose, it seems like. Can you hear that rumble in the background? That's the ocean. I'm all by myself right now. Well, I got the trees for company. And boy, they are so pretty here. Sitka spruce. Such stalwarts they are. They're really straight and tall. It's no wonder that Captain Cook and Captain Vancouver would use these Sitka spruce to replace broken masts and spars on their trees. They're very straight grained really tight grain. Here's some blueberry trees, or shrubs, I should say. I'll see you guys in a few months. They'll be budding out here pretty soon. Did you know that snowflakes falling from the sky from the clouds, actually to when they when they first form, well, it's kind of like an oyster, you know, and a pearl. You need a little bit of grit to form a pearl. Well, same with a snowflake. You need a little grit in the atmosphere. Then a snowflake forms. Anyway, from the time it's formed or born to the time it hits your mitten, nose or the trail. It's about 20 minutes. It's kind of a tumbleweed sort of journey, don't you think? It's a really nice trail here in Fort Abercrombie State Historical Park here in Kodiak, Alaska. Volunteers keep the trails pretty tidy. This is Lake Gertrude. Pretty soon it'll be thawed out. Kids will be swimming in it. <laughs> Got the sniffles. I'm looking for painted rocks too. The kids will leave or hide painted rocks. The deal is, is if you find it, you can keep it, leave it, or rehide it.
This might be a little slippery, so I think I might just take my time, so bear with me. Sometimes I think about my mom when I walk in the woods like this. See, my mom suffered from mental illness and I think being in the garden and being amongst big trees helped her feel better. I know when we were five kids, all my siblings, we would pile into the station wagon and whatever car we had. I mean, my mom and dad, they would drive us to a trailhead, Mount Rainier National Park. And then we'd all pile out of the car and run up the trail. And one thing I like to do was find plants, flowers, ferns, species of plants that I didn't think my mom would know what they were. She was really good with identifying plants. And I bring them down, a fistful of greenery and wildflowers. Of course, I know it's not the best thing. She's not supposed to do that these days. But then we'd sit down with a, a field guide, you know, and uh, together we'd figure out what they were pretty special. Oh, we're coming up on my favorite little waterfall. Let's see what's going on here. I'm going to go up here a little further, check it out. Come with me. Oh, I just passed. Whoa. Bits of uh, spruce cone left. Squirrel. Feeding station. Dinner. Oh, the moss is covered. The snowflakes. Pretty cool. Can you see it over there? I'll come back another time. We'll photograph it better. Meanwhile. I like the sound. Okay, navigate through the roots. Sorry trees, I don't like to step on your roots. Here we go. Nice bridge. So to this side, we have the fresh water coming in. And here's Lake Gertrude, snow falling. In the summer, this is a patch of High bush cranberry. Very edible, kind of tart. Some people don't like the smell of the berries or the leaves. They say it smells like dirty socks. <laughs> oh, we have our choices. Hand holding this right now. It's an experiment. Hi tree. Okay, which way to go? Whoa, I think I'll go this way. We're headed to the ocean. See what kind of waves are crashing. I don't even know what the tide state is right now. Stage of the tide.
We'll come up here. Take a look at the lake. Snow falling. I can hear the tap tap of the snowflakes hitting my shoulders, actually my jacket, and um, it's kind of sweet, really. Saying I'm here. How you doing? Isn't that beautiful? What a gift our eyes are. What a gift. I'm gonna hurry up a little bit so I can get to the get to the ocean. I think if I had to live in the city. I need to find trees, even if it was just a patch along a sidewalk. They're like friends, just like they help my mom. They're friends for me too. Had to change exposure there, just a little too bright. I think one of the reasons why I might have been a little bummed out this afternoon was I just needed to get outside. ice on the lake is starting to break up. Oh, I like the texture on the, on the walkway here, or the, actually the contrast with the snow. This will be a field of ferns in the summer. Okay, opening the sky, we've got more snow showing up on the walkway. Oops, I just ate a snowflake. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm out photographing with my big camera, I like to play with silhouettes. You know, silhouettes like branches like this. Just because I really, I like the shapes. Up 
here I'm going to show you one of my other favorite spots. Oh, it's getting a little dark, time-wise, too. Change the focus, Good exposure here. Whoop, there we go. It is the second day of spring here in Kodiak, and winter is still hanging on. Not for much longer. I'm gonna take a little left here. It's kind of a neat little area. I like this. Tiny trees, little body of water like this, and in the summer it sort of empties out. Kind of percolates when you go around the other side. Here we go. Isn't this pretty? All this moss stays evergreen. Walking in the forest in the winter is such a treat for that reason. I've had friends visit from Germany in the winter and oh, they love it. Green moss in the winter. <laughs> Relaxing. Feel better already. I'm breathing with the trees as they exhale oxygen and take in my carbon dioxide because I exhale carbon dioxide and take up their oxygen. Nice relationship, don't you think? Where would we be without trees and plants? We wouldn't be. Hmm, more great shapes. Look at that. I think I might have to come back and play with those at some point. Yeah. I know I'm shaking. Oh well, up and down. Next time I'll use a, oh, what you call it? One of those things you attach to your camera so it stabilizes it, right? I just had a hankering to do it this time. Hope you don't mind. Isn't this an awesome bench? Huh. I just love this bench. Port Abercrombie State Historical Park was or played an important role during World War II. It's all part of the uh, Aleutian campaign. So there's remnants of bunkers around here and Lake Gertrude here was a fresh water source. From what I understand, there's, I don't know, 10 or 20,000 troops here during the war. Why do we have war? It just doesn't make sense to me. If we would just do unto others had we, like we'd want to be treated, if there was no selfishness, or greed in the home, the businesses. If there was no greed, we wanted everybody to be happy. There wouldn't be any war. There wouldn't be any war. There wouldn't be any need to fight. 
we could trust each other. Just think. We wouldn't have to have keys or police forces or armies or safe deposit boxes or alarm systems, security systems. We wouldn't have to be afraid to walk on the streets at night. We'd all feel safe and loved. What a beautiful thought. I think mankind is going in that direction. It doesn't seem like it if you watch the news. I don't watch the news much. I hardly ever watch television. Here we are, we're in a lake. Kids don't float. During the summer, they put life jackets in there. Ah, I can hear the ocean. What a great trail system, trail system, I said. This one goes up there, whoa. And these trails go up. We'll do that another day. I think you're really gonna like this last little bit as we go to the ocean. It's kind of like a surprise. <laughs> like a box of chocolates, Forrest Gump, you know? You never know what you're gonna get. When I was a child and I was spending my summers on Puget Sound in Washington State, I spent many hours by myself walking along the beach, turning over rocks and shells and putting my hand in tide pools, and pulling out to see what I could see. But turning over rocks, you never knew what you were gonna get. And years later, when I was asking my dad what to do next as far as direction of my life, he said, you know, Marion, Just keep turning over rocks. You'll find what it is you need. He was right. You just can't stop turning over rocks. Okay, I'm gonna tap the camera here so I can get, uh, there we go, better exposure for you. You're looking at a little bit of the lake to the right. And this is the North Pacific Ocean coming up here. Go. There's a trail here so you can see part of the lake. Like, like this. Here's Lake Gertrude. And the trail continues. But I think I'm going to cut off the trail right now. And show you the ocean. Now a friend of mine, whenever we come here, see that log in front of us? We always build um, a stack of rocks. So I'm gonna find a stack of rocks here, or some rocks to stack, I should say. Yeah, so let's grab 
this guy. This one. Reached out for that guy. Nothing fancy, you know, just a stack of rocks. Try one more. Where should I find um Well, thanks for joining me on this walk through the woods. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I feel a lot better. My day's really not as bad as it was, or as I think it was. So, bye for now, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.